DLSS 4 is absolutely amazing. Thank you very much, NVIDIA, for letting this technology work on my old dusty GPU, okay? To help me gain through these tough times while I am fighting online to get my hands on that almighty RTX 5090. And I cannot wait to embrace the full power of AI with DLSS4 MFG. Because as we know now, it can predict the future. Yeah. It can predict the future. Okay, 16 times the detail, man. I am so excited. But let me tell you, honestly, I want to go back and play some of the games that I already finished, like Red Dead Redemption 2, it has never looked better. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you how to force the latest DLSS 4 on any game the easiest and fastest way, even for games that are not supported yet by NVIDIA. It is just going to be copy and paste the file and you're done, okay? The only thing that we have to do is to create the file. So with this method, you don't need the NVIDIA Inspector Profile, you don't need the DLSS Swapper, nothing, okay? Actually, if you got the latest NVIDIA drivers installed on your PC, you already have the file. All you have to do is rename that file, which I'm going to show you where it is, so you can find it on your own PC. Okay, you don't even have to download this from the internet. You already have. It. So I'll, I will show you the path, and all you have to do is rename that file, then copy and paste and replace it on every single game, and it just works. Okay? absolutely amazing now how do i know it is working well you try a game like red dead redemption which was a blurry mess okay even with dlss the game looked absolutely terrible in motion so everything was blurry as soon as you move everything was overly sharp a complete mess you change the dlss on that game it, you will definitely see a massive difference. Actually, I beat Red Dead Redemption 2, updating the DLSS file as much. It was the newest version, and it was still blurry, and I was using DLDSR with DLSS at the same time, so pushing a lot more pixels, having to lower the in-game settings a lot to optimize settings. And it was okay, but... I want to play the game again, basically. It has never looked better, and it, that's the case with every single game. With DLSS 4, in my opinion, NVIDIA fixed my number one complaint with gaming today. The games look blurry. I don't like TAA. I don't like any temporal thing. Well, with this, I am convinced. I'm like, okay, that's the way. We are going in the right direction. Now, I still want more pixels. I don't want developers to start lowering the pixel density in very important things like hair, which still doesn't look perfect, like you know, foliage and some very fine details that are still not perfect, even with DLSS 4. And the, re the problem is the developers. That's my opinion. Because they are relying way too much on these techniques, upscaling TAA, and they are like, okay, we're going to lower the pixels. Because this is gonna take care of everything. And I don't think that's a great idea, okay? If the game is a mess to begin with, it's not gonna be perfect, even with DLSS 4. But I have to say, my complaints, most of my complaints are gone with this. So it is a must, in my opinion, to force DLSS 4. So I will show you the easiest way. Easy, okay? I'm gonna have this path in the description of the video so you don't even have to manually go into this folder 
all you have to do is copy and paste that here on your browser. So you're gonna go to C, Program Data, NVIDIA, NGX, Models, DLSS, Versions, 2031673, Files, and here it is, okay? Now you will see this only if you have at least the past two drivers, the latest one or the one before that. This is the latest DLSS. We're talking about preset K, okay? The best of the best. And probably in the future, if we get a different one, it's gonna be right there. So all you have to do is to rename this file. Of course, don't rename the file here. Just copy this somewhere else to a folder and rename this file as the DLSS file is called. It's gonna be in the description of the video. It's like mv underscore dot DLL. That's it. <laughs> so with that, you just have to copy and paste that file to where the game has the DLSS file, which is not always the same place. So you can just open the game folder and then what I do is I type here on under search N and V. And then I can quickly find that file. It is that simple. You don't have to use the DLSS swapper. You don't have to use NVIDIA inspector profile. None of that. Once you have that file created, it is just copy and paste and it just works. Now, there's going to be some games like multiplayer games. I tried this in Fortnite and because it's a multiplayer game and it's checking the files to make sure you're not cheating and all of that, it doesn't even show DLSS on the game settings. It's like it doesn't exist. So we cannot do it. And NVIDIA is not supporting it in Fortnite yet. So yeah, there's gonna be some specific games, especially online games where this might be a problem to do anti-cheating software, but for every single game, it's just gonna work for the rest of them. It just works and it is a must. <laughs> it is a must, absolutely incredible. I have to say, again, I beat this game this year, Red Dead Redemption 2, and man, I wanna play it again. <laughs> it's a huge, I mean, this game is so long, but it is just a different, uh, level right now. It is just, it is so much better, so much better. So I, I, I want to play again. I've never seen Red Dead Redemption 2 look this good ever. It is just absolutely incredible. The sharpness of the game. Because the thing is, let me turn this up. This is my favorite area of the game here. Uh, this Iceland, this island. A warm -up. The thing is, it doesn't look overly sharp, okay? Now, I've seen games that look better than this when it comes to the sharpness. So if the game was a mess before, you don't expect perfection, okay? But this is a 65-inch TV, okay? 4K, 65-inch, I'm using DLSS quality with almost all the settings in Ultra. And I am this close to the screen. And yeah, it is not perfect, but I'm not like, like I wanna vomit. Like <laughs> this game was disgusting. Absolutely terrible. The clarity of the game was a complete mess. Flat out broken. Okay, I don't care how good the lighting was, the shadows, reflections, whatever. All of that becomes irrelevant when the clarity of the game was so bad. Now, it's a different game. <laughs> okay, I cannot say it's perfect, but right now I'm like, man. I just step back a little bit, okay? Okay, if, I, if I'm here, I'm like, yeah, it's not perfect, but if I go here, <laughs> I'm like, man, this looks amazing, and it is definitely worth a second playthrough, okay? So this is so good, again, I don't want to play any game that doesn't have this, 
and the games that I already finished, I want to play them again. If I am halfway through the game, I want to start from the beginning. It is that good, okay? AMD is releasing the 9070. This, uh, I think the 28, they're going to do the official numbers and all of that. And yeah, the price might be very good. The performance might be a lot better than NVIDIA. But the thing is, you cannot compare frames when they look so different. If you cannot get Red Dead Redemption 2, for example, looking this good, it doesn't matter how many frames you get. Because I mean, it does matter because if you were getting 300 frames, you can just increase the pixels <laughs> way like crazy uh, number and try to brute force the image clarity. But it's, it's not the same thing. This is the best upscaling we have, period. And we have to wait for FSR 4, but I don't think AMD can touch this, okay? And I already watched the uh, Hardware Unbox video because uh, Tim saw <laughs> the FSR 4 uh, demo with Ratchet and Clank at CES, and he didn't want to confirm. Yeah, it was not even close. He didn't want to give a final statement because it's very difficult. I understand if I see it without context, without a comparison side by side, what I remember is you cannot say, oh, it is not better than the LSS4. But yeah, that, that's what I, that's, that was my interpretation. <laughs> okay, it was like, yeah, it's not gonna be that good. Uh, it's gonna be better than what we have now with FSR3, but I don't think it's gonna come even close to this. And if AMD or Intel cannot come close to this, they are irrelevant, in my opinion. It doesn't matter, the FPS you can get for the money is irrelevant. The quality of the game is far superior with NVIDIA. So welcome to NVIDIA, <laughs> okay? Man, I'm so happy with this because I was not happy with, um, with gaming, uh, honestly. I was kind of like, what's the point of getting, you know, a 5090 even, and ray tracing and all of that? What's the point if the games look bad? I don't care if, if it has ray tracing. If the, if the game looks uh, blurry, I don't care. <laughs> it's that simple. It's a, I don't even want to play the games. And here's the thing. Before I had the opportunity you know, to afford all these nice toys, you know, having a high-end PC with a nice, big, QD OLED TV, I was in queue. I didn't have the chance to, to have these things. Of course, I used to play with very low resolution and terrible uh, image quality. But once you, once you see better, you cannot go back. <laughs> That's the thing. So once we get used to a, a higher level of, of quality, we don't want to go back. So what happens is we get some games that were looking okay. And definitely before the TAA era, those older games, you open them and they look so sharp, so clear. So for me, it was painful to see all these new games looking so uh, painfully blurry. So, so games like this, Red Dead, I was like, man, this is terrible. Absolutely horrendous uh, quality. And I know this on the on the recording is going to be clipping. Let me, let me lower the settings here. Well, no, because next is uh, nighttime. So yeah, the camera cannot show you <laughs> the darkness and the brightness at the same time because it's just way too bright on HDR. But the thing is, once you get used to the quality, you cannot go back. That's the, that's the problem. So games like this that were so blurry when I first tried them, it was painful because in my opinion, Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of the best looking games ever created if you don't consider the problems that we had with the clarity and the blurriness and the motion um, when it comes to the animations and all the details and the attention to detail that this game have the story everything the scope of this game is just absolutely uh, ridiculously good and i absolutely love it so it was a shame it was really painful to see the, the blurriness. GTA 5 is getting a remaster. 
uh, it was the anti-aliasing, so it was not blurry, but then the anti-aliasing was terrible. Even with 4K, eight times MSAA, it was still had a lot of shimmering. So hopefully it gets updated and it has DLSS and we can do this so we can really see the this kind of clarity, okay? Or better, it should be better actually. It should be a lot better than this uh, because GTA didn't have the blurring as problem, but it's the same engine, so let's see. So yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I'm so happy with it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions. Um, I, I might do like a summary video when it comes to the HDR options that we have, uh, settings on your monitor or TV, uh, the things that I use, the programs that I use to figure out, the test patterns and all of that. Do like a summary with everything we've learned about HDR, uh, RTX HDR, Auto HDR, SDR, HDR trick, Major Paint the Cactus, Reno DX, Special K. I'm also gonna revisit a Special K maybe before I do that video to give it uh, a fair try again, one more time. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions about this. I think this is very simple. <laughs> okay, this was just me going crazy because I think it is really a game changer. But it was a very simple tutorial. <laughs> okay, but still let me know if you have any questions, what are your thoughts and opinions? Which games are you playing right now with this that you were not able to play before because they were so ugly, <laughs> like this game? So let me know and see you next time.